Did you know that you could file for disability before you even get out of the service? Welcome to Battle Buddy Ben. In this episode, I'm going to go over what a pre-discharge claim is and what you need to do for it. So what is a pre-discharge claim? Here we go. This is straight off the VA.gov website. If you have an illness or injury that you believe was caused or made worse by your active duty service, you can file a claim for disability benefits 180 to 90 days before you leave the military. This may help speed up the claim decision process so you can get your benefits sooner. You can find out how to claim through the benefit delivery at discharge program and what to do if you have less than 90 days left on active duty. If you're finding this information useful and helpful, hit that like and subscribe button and check out my website. Hitting the like and subscribe button allows other veterans or people who will be getting out of the service soon to find out more information about what pre-discharge claims are and how you go about starting that process. So are you eligible to use the BDD program to get, my di get your disability compensation sooner? If you're viewing this, you may already be out but you may have friends or family members that are in and are thinking about getting out and then you can allow them to know about this program and this claim process so that they can get their disability compensation sooner rather than later. So are you eligible? So you may be eligible, eligible for the BDD program if you meet all of these requirements. All of these must be true. You're a service member on full-time active duty that's including members of the National Guard, Reserve, or Coast Guard. You have a known separation date. Your separation date is in the next 180 to 90 days. So we'll just say roughly three to six months. You're available to go to VA exams for 45 days from the date you submit your claim, which means that you can't be de deployed so if you're in a combat zone, you will not be able to go to your VA exams. Or if you're on a ship in the middle of the ocean, you will not be able to go to your VA exams, aka CMP exams. You can provide a copy of your service treatment records for the current period of service when you file your claims. You provide a copy of your service treatment records or your medical records from the time you got in to up to that point where you are filing. So what if you have 90 days or less left of active duty? You can't file a pre-discharge claim or add more medical conditions to your initial pre-discharge claim, but you can still begin the process of filing your claim before discharge. What does that mean? It means that the 90-day cutoff is because of that the 45-day VA exams. It's because there's a lot of stuff that happens when you get out that you it may interrupt this whole flow and kind of convolute it, so they don't want you to go through that. If you have stuff, if you have chronic stuff that's going on, if you have an injury or illness, you, you probably know about it already. And unless it manifests itself within those last 90 days or you get into an accident, you get whatever the case is, hurt, shot, whatever, in those last 90 days, then obviously you can file for that after the fact, after you get out or on your way out. If you can't add more conditions, so once you hit that submit button, you can't add any more to it if you're going this route. Are there any reasons I can't use the BDD program? So you can't use the BDD program if your claim requires special handling. Even if you're on full-time active duty with more than 90 days left of service. So you can't use the BDD program if any of the following are true. You need case management for a serious injury or illness. You're terminally ill. You're waiting to be discharged while being treated at a VA hospital or military treatment facility. You're waiting for us to determine your character of discharge. You can't go to a VA exam during the 45 day period after you submit your claim. Again, if you're deployed or you're on a ship somewhere, then obviously you can't do that. You didn't submit copies of your service treatment records for your current period of service. You added medical conditions to the original claim when you had less than 90 days left on active duty or you need to have a VA exam done in a foreign country and we can't request exams through the overseas BDD office in Lundstahl, Germany or Camp Humphreys, Korea. So if you're in those two areas, they can't get exams. Therefore, you can't do this program if you're over there. And the fourth one down, if you don't know your character of discharge, that's a problem. Obviously, if you're gonna be dishonorably discharged or any 
anything less than honorable, that's a problem. You can't claim this benefit to begin with anyway. But if you have a stellar record, I wouldn't say stellar, right? If you just did your job and this is, you're going to get honorably discharged and you should know that. If you're in the hospital and this is why selling, if you're terminally ill, you're, you're pretty much on your way out the door anyway. There's no point to go into a claims process, which may, may, may make judgment after you have passed away. That is a very sad case. And I feel I sympathize with anybody who is in that situation. You need to, you know, need a case manager or you're in the hospital and that's the, you can't do that because they don't know what your disability may be. There are some disabilities where you're going to get a hundred percent for that time you're in the hospital, but if they don't know what level or rating level to put you at, because maybe you're not done being treated, then they can't make that rating. And so there's no point to, to submitting a claim for that. So how do you file a claim for disability compensation before I leave the service? If, if you have 180 to 90 days left of active duty, if you're stationed in the U.S., you can file a claim online. Uh, you'll need to submit the docu these documents with your claim, your service treatment record, a complete separation health exam assessment part A, the self-assessment portion. If you've already filed your pre-discharge claim but didn't submit this form yet, you can upload it. The form, you can upload that form online. To complete the application process, you'll need to do the, these things. Be, be available for 45 days. Obviously, we're reiterating that. And then finish all phases of the VA and DOD medical separation exam be process before you release from the military. If you're overseas, except for those two locations, one in Germany, one in Korea, you can start the claim process at the BDD offices and you may have to come back stateside to complete that. If you have less than 90 days left on active duty, file a fully developed or standard claim. If you have less than that, so if you file a fully developed disability claim, you need to send in all the evidence or can easily get when you file your claim. So that's a full developed package, which means the VA can then make a decision much quicker versus saying, oh, this person needs an examination per M21-1. You need to set up a VA exam or a CMP exam. And then they, that's, that, falls, that makes you fall into the next bullet point. The standard disability claim is where we'll take more responsibility for gathering the evidence we need to make a decision on your claim. So you're leaving it up to the VA to do that. It behooves you to do the first bullet as much as you can. Obviously, if you can't do that, you always have the backup of the standard disability claim where the VA will then gather the evidence for you. If you have any comments or questions about pre-discharge claims, please place them in the comment section or send me an email contact at battlebuddyben.com. If you like what you viewed, hit that like and subscribe button to let others know about this video, especially if you have friends or family that are in the military still and are on their way out. Check out my website. I have a lot of great links, templates, and information on it. The website is battlebuddyben.com. It is also on the screen. Keep working hard and good luck with your claims.